What stump? <laughs> the stump we come out of. Oh. From... Remember what Mari said, Amori. You're stronger than you think. Don't worry, we'll be right behind you. To cushion your fall. Oh, wait, that was me. Oops. Yeah. I will catch you, sure. Kel, don't scare him. You won't fall, Amori, unless you let go. I promise. Oh, no. It's the jazz hands. Oh, uh, no. Spirit fingers. Oh, what? That's, oh, excuse me? We calm down. We know that as long as we don't look down, we'll be fine. Man, I know there's a reason why we never climbed up this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh well. Here goes nothing. I'm sure it's fine. Mm. So, do you have any idea how tiring that long. this would be? How what? How tiring this would be? Yeah, but again, it's a dream. <laughs> Wait, hold up, guys. Shoot, where is he? I just had him. Where is who? Hector, my pet rock. I swear I just had him in my pocket. No! Priorities. Hector. He must have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. What is the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that! He's not just a rock, he's family! Don't worry, I'm sure he'll turn up soon, Kel. Probably. Someone walked into the room. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> I sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise. As Who are you, friend? Sperm. What? I no. <laughs> it's the snake, Ariel. Oh. The snake has a big old head. It was a space helmet. Oh. And now there's ground. Yeah. Now we climbed into the un into another planet. I guess so. First. How? <laughs> oh god, Kel's one of those people who comments first on YouTube videos. <sighs> the ladder. <sighs> it just <sighs> never ends. <sighs> <laughs> That's one small step for Kel and one large step for kind. It's not how it goes. You don't get to decide how it goes. You weren't here first. <sighs> Wait, hold on. Is that my butt certificate? Take that thing down right now. What if someone sees it? No way. Look at this thing fluttering in the wind. So majestic. So beautiful. Hero, do something! One, one sec. That's just... Catching, catching my breath. Actually... Give, give me a minute. Never mind. So, if you don't get the butt certificate first, you don't get that cutscene. No, I mean... And you miss out on an achievement. Aubrey's butt certificate. So majestic. So beautiful. I... I guess. What is that? <laughs> What's the thing? Um... What? It's the bird. Oh. He tells you where things are. Oh. We're gonna go to Cat... Oh, I guess I can't. 
Shoot. I know I left my donut somewhere around here. Priorities. I don't remember him being there. I guess I have to go to Otherworld City first. Made it, Ariel. We're do we're in space. Oh boy. Arrow, you know what's in space? Mari. Uh, but yes, but also Pluto, <laughs> the planet. Oh, and a TV. No, oh, people just don't know how to leave me alone. Yeah. Why do they love the love? Gumbo. Gumbo. Happy. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be the alien voice? So many humans today. You guys are always such big fans of space travel. I mean, I guess. It's at times like this that I am reminded that our universe is beautiful. Bro, you're like two people. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Otherworld! An unofficial pit stop for weary space travelers in a popular family-friendly camping ground. Ah... Uh... Don't you just love the smell of firewood, and the sound of warming water, and the crisp space breeze? It all makes the vast emptiness of space a little more bearable, don't you think? I guess. How did you get here? Though? Ah yes, some lovely space tube food. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Bom -bom. Ah! Another mirror. Same. Or is it? I'm watching. The same. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot my camera at home. What's a good camping trip if I can't take any pictures? Uh oh. Sorry to bother you, but have you seen my son anywhere? We've looked in, we've looked away for less than a second and he's gone and ran off again. Could you keep an eye out for me? You'll know when you see him. He looks just like me. Have you seen our friend? He wears a flower crown? <laughs> now nah, we'll get to that at some point. Ariel, you're Mrs. Ducky. Junior just doesn't know how to stay put. All he wants to do is go outside. Ariel. What? They're bunnies. Yes? Don't kill them! Still. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. Let's talk to Mari. Actually, I forgot. I've... Oh wait, no, we can't do that till later. Uh... Oh, Basil. I mean... Oh, you're Mari. Could Basil have climbed the ladder all the way up to Otherworld? You could try asking around to see if people have seen him. No, clearly he was just grabbed into the void. Um, the space pirates just north of here may be a good place to start. Aw, Daisy's trying to get her crush to notice her with the flower puzzle. How cute! I think I saw Mikhail throw one away a while back. Maybe you can find it somewhere. Amori, you agreed to slay bunnies for Leafy? Aubrey will be upset, you know. <laughs> Dang, Kel's pet rock Hector fell out of his pocket. Sorry, Kel, I'm not sure where he is, but don't give up! Oh no, Ducky Jr. is missing. I'm sure his parents are awfully worried about him. Oops. Oh no, Ducky Jr. Hope to have helped just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Mari, Mari's just having an episode. <laughs> Having a stroke. <laughs> small. I'm small. The world's smallest centaur. Look at all of my awards. They're bigger than you. <laughs> Littlest centaur, first place. Most horse, second place. Tiniest centaur, first place. Miniest, cent miniest centaur, <laughs> first place. <laughs> smallest centaur. Littlest. Littlest. Wait. Yeah. Idiest and bittiest. Yep. A bookcase. It's a little dusty. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah. 
Ah, <laughs> Fucking dust bunnies. You just keep showing up. I did it. Uh, why did it TV. Let's just leave that on. I hope you realize every time we run into a TV, I'm turning it on and leaving the building. But that's so rude. <laughs> I know. Wait a second. What? The well-wrapped present. The doll head shaped pillow. Is there also one for the toaster? Mm, I can't remember maybe. what else was on that table. <laughs> Uh, a photo. This place used to be a pristine wildlife preserve, but due to a recent boom in horrors, I'm starting to accumulate a lot of trash. Pick up your trash, people! It's not that fucking hard, you fucks! Fucking degenerates. Oh god, this person. Oh. Is her house shaped like her own head? <laughs> uh, her. Oh. Hey, I'm pushy, <laughs> and as you probably noticed, I love Sweetheart. I got every piece of merchandise she's ever released. I have Sweetheart posters, figures, stickers, shirts, her entire discography, and anything else you can think of. I am certain you won't find a more thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Calling me a super fan is an understatement. I am the Archmage fan. Let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. We just happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. Maybe. We ordered the same meal too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to pay for her meal, but I had just bought a newly released Sweetheart life-size statue the day early and couldn't afford to. Which I guess ended up being a good thing, since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kind of looked like Sweetheart. Not like I couldn't tell in the first place, only a poser fan would ever mistake a regular person for Sweetheart. I hate this person. I mean... A bookcase full of books about an obnoxious looking person. Let's turn their TV on. A very obnoxious sounding song is playing from this boombox. Fucking uh, a painting of an obnoxious looking person. Or K-pop stand, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, a surprisingly normal bed. Well, yeah. A statue made in the <laughs> likeness of an obnoxious looking person. Table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person. An ordinary houseplants. I can't wait until we meet Sweetheart, because she's the worst character. <laughs> That recycling machine just gave me a cool flies for recycling. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I don't know if you'll hear the song or not. I can. You got five whole clams, Ariel. You can skip the song. <laughs> The band of space pirates has been camping out for a long time now. I hear that the captain suddenly decided he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half the crew took his ship and left. Wow, how pathetic. Okay, seriously, what was the fucking first item on the table? Because now I'm annoyed. Oh. No, not this, this table. One? What table? The houses are shaped like the items from the table in the second um, when we first met the friends. I'm trying to remember. Because it was something. It wasn't a dragon. A well wrapped present, a, the, the girl head pillow, a toaster, and then the photo album. But I don't remember what the first thing was. Space boyfriend. It's, it's space boyfriend. Captain Pinkbeard. This is this is what we're doing. We're talk. We're gonna talk to Space Boyfriend. 
Halt, children! You are now entering the vicinity of... The captain of the space pirates. The master of the solar system. The prince of the universe. The one and only space... Captain Space... But I mean... Urgh. You're entering the house of space... Boyfriends. Whoa, the captain of the space pirates lives here? That's awesome. Oh. Uh, I want to be a space pirate too. Yeah, well, so did I. Once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the space pirates got fed up and left with the main ship. It's just those stragglers here doing all space boyfriend's chores and whatever. Yesterday, me and the guy spent the day cleaning and throwing away all his trash. Ugh. Family, my old job for this. Ain't no babysitter. Aw, I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Maybe we could talk some sense into him. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space Bo I mean, Space Boyfriend's got two sides to him, you see. We should at least try. You never know. You might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he knows where to find my pet rock Hector. Why would he? Yeah, uh, sure, that too. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him already. Sorry about your job, sir. It'll get better soon, I promise. <sighs> Thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. That's what I tell myself every day. <laughs> well, before we do that... Who is this handsome fellow? Oh, he thinks he's a tree. He looks a little intimidating. Do we want to disturb him, Ariel? I feel like no, but you also went out of your way to talk to him, so... Let's, uh... <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> oh! Oh. It's Pluto. God. Oh no. Annoy! <laughs> so Aubrey's headbutt ignores defense if it, uh, she's angry. Ow. <laughs> I love her headbutt animation. Yep. He right arm flexes and feels his best area. Ah, excellent. So one thing about um, Aubrey's attack, uh, headbutt is um, you take damage. Well, I, I did not mean to pass to Aubrey. Yeah. I meant to pass to Omori. Because I wanted him to be sad. Well, that's just me. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> oh no, his arm! Well, these things happen. He poked, he poked me, Ariel. Oh, jeez! Oh. That's a lot of damage. I mean, that's, that's a, a lot, lot of damage. damage. Wait. 40%, 35 heart. And... So if you break his arms, he can't do anything. Oh. Which, like, no duh. I mean... Yeah. Bonk. Meh. Stop poking. Oh, now you're angry. Oh, that damn it. I just got sad. Well, it doesn't matter. He's almost dead. Yeah. Yeah, this fight's not too hard. <laughs> but, uh... Let's just say this isn't the only time we'll be seeing Pluto. He's gonna come back for revenge. Oh, he can still attack. I've never seen him do that. He can headbutt, too. He's learned from the oh, masters. 
Ariel, how dare you imply that Pluto is not the master? Mm, but I don't see him with a butt certificate. Ariel, but he can flex to feel his best. <laughs> what a splendid show of force. Oh, oh god, he's expanding. Oh no. Did he just do a bunch of little fingers? Oh. Oh shit, it's toast. Probably heal. Oh god, he struck a pose. Oh god, no. Bad man. It's Metatron. Metatron all over again. Metatron? The seal of Metatron. <laughs> no. Ah! We got this. He's dead. Is he dead? Oh, okay, he's not dead. He's sad. He did it, Ariel. Are yeah. you proud of me? I mean, he was just minding his own business. Not bad. No, Ariel, he's clearly hiding what? What? Oh. Goodbye, Pluto. You rogue renegade of a planet. Excuse me. What? Oh. I'm, I'm healing. I looked away for a second. I'm watching you, Mirror. I don't trust you. I mean, I don't trust you at all, but so far it's still been the same. Ariel, is a secret? You're a secret. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Not a TV! No! Wait, maybe that's what's the other item. <laughs> oh, it was. It was the TV. Yeah. Jeez! Give me a warning at least, will ya? I don't get visitors very often, you know. Oh hey, while you're here, could you be a real pal and help me get the stuff that's on this list? I could not read that. Did you get all that? Everything you need to find should be in the junkyard. Thanks, buddy! I owe you one! We just met. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean it was too fast for you to read? <sighs> Fine. There's a list you can look at for as long as you want. A whatchamacallit, <laughs> a doohickey, and a thingamabob. Okay. Thanks for that. Sounds simple. Got it down this time? I expect I'll be seeing you again soon. We, we just... Okay, TV lady. We just met. What? You... Uh, but I... Ariel? Ariel? No. Just, just wait. No. I know we're gonna get attacked by space plants. The star shooting painting. I ain't really used myself staring into the sky, I guess. Back on my planet. There was this weird ass leaf who kept trying to kill all of us. <laughs> Way to flee. <laughs> we're refugees now. When I grow up, I want to be a space captain so I can fly a battalion back home and finally get revenge on the leaf <laughs> that killed Grandpappy. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not notice like the... until now? <laughs> it was like the dumbest thing I've said. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and Dad are probably super worried about me. I better head home quick. And that's that's the quest. Some thumb. Ariel. A boombox. A cool duffel bag. No, it does just say cool. What the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> 
some cool energy drinks, a cool basketball hoop, a cup of cool soda, a cool <laughs> duffel bag. Are you ready, Ariel? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear the music? Yes. I was doing it too fast Beautiful. and Face Rick wasn't picking it up. <laughs> his fucking his fucking text box. <laughs> Alright enough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well so stupid. that was a thing that happens. <laughs> that room does nothing. Yeah. During our hike just now, I noticed a face indented into a cliff. I wonder what that's all about. I don't know. Dude, your lips. I pooped after that rigorous hike. I just don't know what... Uh, oh, I forgot how to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to feel my legs depart. Ariel. What? It's an enemy. Oh, he's following us. Ah! Hurdle, do you know what it is? It's a space worm. It's a wormhole! Oh, well, I mean that also. Take that, Amori. <laughs> I think eventually he would just pay attention. Well, you say that. <laughs> but, um, every time you complete a chapter, you're, uh,. The follow-up moves actually, like, level up. Yeah. Uh, eventually, Omori actually notices Aubrey when she looks at him. Uh -oh. And she gets so happy, her attack is... It ignores defense, and it does, like, 1.5 damage. <laughs> uh, ooh, um, and, uh... Omori notices Kel when he throws the ball. And he hits it back at the enemy. And he gets happy. Yeah. A lot of traffic cones. Yeah. Why are we stabbing them all? Because that's how you get rid of a traffic cone. <laughs> in my in my experience, no. You know, we should be real careful. I sent you that <laughs> picture from a <Ophe> of Halo. <laughs> These things are dangerous. <laughs> you know what we should do? Uh, prop hunt. <laughs> <laughs> But that's definitely one of these more than two people. <laughs> it's so stupid though. Put purely your face is intended stab into it! the wall. You are not <laughs> sure what it, you can't. Well, the the not? stab button is the is the talk button. Oh man. That's just rude. Also, what is with all these radio towers? Because Because is this some other sprout that we're gonna ruin his life and then kill him? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, what's the I went idea? through all this trouble. <laughs> oh wait, you're the sprout moles, that's right. <laughs> I went through all this trouble to isolate myself from society, and then you show up and ruin everything. You better fix this right now! Ariel. I mean... He <laughs> puts them all back. Alright, well, we didn't kill him, so... You can go back and do it again. <laughs> I ruined your thing. <laughs> oh, they got... Well, no, now they're just... We're gonna explore! We're gonna explore! We're adventurers! We're an adventure! We're explorers! Would you like to moonwalk, Ariel? I mean, is it gonna help? Oh. <laughs> I feel like no. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. 
Wasn't there another- we Save the world. Is there another door there, or what the fuck is on the other side? Oh, uh, you can't go through the door. Oh. Uh, you need a password that you don't get until, like, the end of the game. Ouch. Ah! Baymax. Ariel, it's a fucking space bunny. God damn it, bunnies! We're trying to not exterminate you! <laughs> Can't help it. Oh! I don't think I've ever seen them fire a laser. They're flying a laser. Thank you for the 10,000 year old <laughs> meme, Ariel. I know, it's very ancient. We're gonna make me feel old. Hey, it's okay, we're all old. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. We're two bunnies closer. Yeah. Wait, no. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Well, there are more bunnies. Oh. Nah. It's... I don't want to. I don't want to take damage. Alright. Oh, this guy, that's right. Let's go this way. Sure. Oh, goodness. Am I in your way? I'm so sorry. I'll move over. <laughs> I feel... I feel targeted. <laughs> <laughs> Although my Lucy, in particular, is very bad with that. <laughs> as, as a dog... Our dogs are very bad at getting out of the way. <laughs> they usually end up going the way that we're trying to go. And when you're carrying something, it's not super helpful. Another tentacle. That was in the play area, too. It was. Ah, ah a stranger. Thank you for having the time to talk with me. I apologize, but I'm afraid I must burden you with a task I cannot complete with my own capabilities. <sighs> Quite recently and suddenly, a rogue planet burst across the sky at an alarmingly fast pace. Yes, it did. My three dearest friends panicked and flew off in separate directions. My three friends are crows, you see, and are not the most friendly nor welcoming of creatures. I'm a bit wary to ask such an immense favor from a complete stranger, but there aren't many who pass through these fields. If I may ask, would you be willing to help my dear friends? Yeah, sure. Pro friends. Oh, thank you, stranger. Words cannot begin to express what this means to me. Now I shall wait their return patiently. For as you can see, without them, I am just a stick in the mud. I mean, uh -huh. I guess. Also, we can't do that yet. Oh, I want the crow friends. We need to be able to switch to hero. I love crow friends. Oh, I think I can one-shot all these. Ariel, they're UFOs. I mean, anything is a UFO if you're bad enough at identifying things. You get the joke? What? I don't think you get the joke. It is the joke. AKA unidentified flying orange. But why? How is it unidentified if you know it's a flying orange? Shh. Because you don't know what its name is, duh. Come on, I'm Ariel, still sticking with my anything is a UFO if you're bad enough at identifying things. I mean, am I a UFO? If you're flying through the air, sure. <laughs> <laughs> But only if I don't know it's you. Maybe if I have my glasses off. <laughs> this is actually a good way to get XP, because there's just a billion of them and Kel can one-shot them. Yeah, well. If it lets him attack first. Uh, 
We're not using mock. It's pretty bad. Oh. At least now. Ariel is a joke. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? He was an upstanding citizen. Because he was citizen. outstanding in his field. I was close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just saying the same thing. Alright, so we can't do that. I forgot we can't do this yet, so we're gonna go talk to the uh, space boyfriend. Okay. Nom nom nom. Dun, dun. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't trust that mirror. It's a different mirror. Cat in space, but I mean, space boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. Things oh, are. I guess. Okay. Things are. Do we want to take turns? Tough. No, I mean, you were doing most of the other NPCs. Okay. Things are a little tough now, but I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. Buddy, it sucks that you had to come like a t at a time like this. Space boyfriend, what can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? <laughs> All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here? Yes. Is that racist? <laughs> uh, you know, I never noticed he was Amigo. Now <laughs> it's kind of sus. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little sus. <laughs> no cassette. Well, I guess we're gonna have to steal a cassette from that one guy and put it in here. No. I <laughs> wish, but no. <coughs> oh, so you're gonna be Space Boyfriend? I don't know. I, I'm just a good coffer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cat in Space... Uh, I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. That's his whole name. Captain Space, I mean Space Boyfriend. That's his whole name. Is it? No. <laughs> don't worry. I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake the fuck up! Kel! What? <laughs> My precious sweetheart. Oh god. Aw, he sounds so sad. There must be some way to help him. <laughs> oh, my sweetheart. Where have you run off to now? Oh, no. Not again. Space Boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy. This will cheer you right up. <laughs> Here, my guy. Because all of them are just referring to people by what their name is. Huh? I mean, I guess. Why is anything plain? No, I mean, Buddy was calling people Buddy, Guy calls people Guy, Pal calls people Pal. I didn't notice that. It's <laughs> actually funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, the boombox. It's empty! He's never gonna wake up now, or even worse. He's gonna wake up angry. Oh man, oh man. Where could that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown away a special mixtape when we were cleaning. What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Aren't you looking for a fucking rock? Uh, Shh. well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing his special mixtape. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's... 
Lovesick? <sighs> if Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. Oh. Man. That sucks. Well, let's go. Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You should know that it really sucks to lose something. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I already did. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I, I don't remember anything like that. <laughs> Sweetheart. My perfect goddess. <laughs> Sweet. Jelly film, don't I? That's just creepy. <laughs> I think he's getting worse. Let's oh god, take he's that hungry. Weird person to him. I mean, Ariel, should we should we help him? I mean, let's just go to that one person's house and convince him to come here, or her, or them. That's not sweetheart. That's not my point. <laughs> That's why I said that weird person's house. Not actually, sweetheart. The sweetheart super fan. <laughs> I think you just get mad. Yeah, but then get him out of bed. <laughs> I guess. Ariel, it's you. Oh, I thought of his space boyfriend. <clears throat> Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. He unlocks the junkyard. The special mixtape should be somewhere in there. What the fuck? You can get there through the secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? Uh, yes. It's a. peaceful. Would you like to disturb it? <laughs> I feel like no, but what even there are consequences. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're gonna, Ready, Ariel. It's we're time gonna destroy, to destroy the earth the now. Earth. Alright, stabbing a tree was bad enough. We're ahead of putting the earth. <sighs> this fight's not that hard. But man, could you imagine if, like, the earth and Pluto teamed up? I mean, why don't they? Is he a, is he a nosebleed? Uh, maybe. I forgot the earth, like, makes- I forgot the earth could make you sad. <laughs> Which is accurate. I mean, life is suffering. I forgot they don't use boss fight music for this. Actually, a lot of XP. I should just go to Mari. Yeah, I mean, probably. Yes, 
space to food. We don't have to go that way to get to the junkyard, by the way. Oh. Oh wait, no, I think he's still in the way. Yeah, okay, we do. <laughs> he's very awkward or passive aggressive, and I'm not sure which one. <laughs> Uh, it's awkward, considering what happens later. <laughs> he goes through a lot of, st of stuff. <laughs> oh no, it's back. <sighs> See, Space Pirate Dude it. says dude. Really done now, dude. You got me. I hope the captain won't be too mad when we tell him his big favorite planet is missing. You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him Captain anymore. You have to call him Space Boyfriend, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's his name, Ariel. Uh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, dude. Sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since this sweetheart came along, we haven't been done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What is life for us if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe him. <sighs> Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. Ariel, we... Made Pluto run even farther away. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. What do you have to say? <laughs> My good Ben, I am looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I have found it. He's just digging through the trash. I mean, one man's trash is another man's treasure or something. Dog's making weird noises. She's going like oh. <laughs> in her sleep. Yeah, I'm making funny. 